Hi again. All I did was stop and start. Because I have a while before I need to feed the kitties. Ready to sin? Still is Sin's birthday. Because I'm recording multiple videos in one day. Mm. All right. Are you... Yeah, you're near another city. I bet that their capital's over here. Hail, I bring greetings and words of wisdom. Ha, huh. now he's offering me a wizard pact. So the eye color doesn't matter as much then. So I will absolutely accept the wizard pact. Um, so wizard pact is for those that are familiar with Civ, the peace treaty. Um, I think it will actually give you the definition of wizard pact here. No, it does not. Okay. Basically, a wizard pact is don't attack them, don't mess with their stuff. Uh, I think I can dispel global magic still, and that's about it. What are you? Earth elementals. What are you? Jin. No. Magic spirits that have been summoned. Oh, yeah, speaking of something. I should probably start doing some of these myself. Get another heroism up. The troops that you have on our border do not generate confidence in a wizard pact. So you're not supposed to have units next to an enemy city during a wizard pact. They get a little pissed off at that. It's understandable. I would do. Let's go ahead and save sprites. If it's only one, I can deal with it. Nope, it's two. You notice that I'm already nearly dead. This is why I saved. Did I already go into you? Yes, many earth elements. That's not going to be viable for me. Yeah, the balance. Okay, so as it falls now, hit three. That's good to know. Amplifying tower looks like it's a tower with a beard and weird arms and like a staff. Increase in casting skill by seven, but it costs 20 maintenance. Holy crap. That's a little nuts. Let's get some stables. I want to see what Doom Drakes look like now. All right, Heroism spell is up. We're going to heroize the other one of them. And now we will start casting Magic Weapon. Or Holy Weapon, excuse me. What are you? Fire Giant, no! Hmm, what are you? Hamlet with population maximum of 16. That's pretty good. Holy crap, that's a lot of swordsmen. But they're ground units. So they can't attack our flying units. We can eventually take them out. <coughs> so I'm going to. I do not have a build-up. Well, all of our bribery is gone for naught. All right. So we should be able to do the standard walk right next to them and then fire at them and then walk away type of thing. Yeah, 
There we go. Alright, if I'm gonna build, that's probably my best spot. That's a still pretty terrible spot, though. I bet I can find something better. I already checked that. Yes, that's a fire giant. Some of these actually have nothing in them, by the way. That's the reason why I'm checking each individual one. Uh, you are at three population now. Let's go ahead and stop the baby making. And make a granary. That doesn't actually matter. Yeah, that's one turn. And I can't make that go any faster. So bye. Really wondering when I'm going to have a hero come about. I wonder if they tweak that too. So, oh, I can't get the Doom ones because I need higher Fighters Guild stuff. Well, I guess it's building a Fighters Guild. Ugh. It's so high on that. Build the shrine first. There we go. What are you? A demon lord. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. There we go, got rid of two of them this time. We are at plus four food. We will eventually take this town out. Just requires patience. And this is one of the reasons why having the Draconians is so awesome. It's because, oh wow, they actually have some that are higher level, I just noticed. Oop. Not what I wanted to do. So you can't be right next to them and attack because then you actually get into melee and they're stronger than us in melee. Oops. Damn it, did it again. Now we wait. Doop, 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 doop. What's in you? Sky Drake. I'm never going to be able to enter any. Ooh, there's Lucidity. Ah, we can finally hire our first hero. Ooh, they have new stuff. Um, So, heroes. Do so you have to pay their upkeep? Uh, in this case, it's upkeep is four. Movement is three forest. So that's not too bad. It's not great. This is a low level hero. For a low class hero, I should say. Um, yeah, it's forest movement, it looks like. Uh, so they have resist elements, which means that they have resistance against um, nature spells and so on. Uh, they can summon wild boars on their own. That's definitely new. Uh, okay. Yep, so this unit actually produces magic power for us, which is very nice. Soul Linker. Hit bonus and defend bonus increase by one for every two levels. Interesting, that's a new power. Um, so this unit actually has casting abilities of its own. That's not what I right-clicked. Um, so for what that means... Is that if it's out and about in combat, uh, Rakir can actually summon things without using my own magic, which is great. Um, Rakir may also have their own unique spells, by the way. Um, and if they're in my capital, they add one-sixth of their skill to my ability to cast things. One-sixth is only two right now, so it's not that big of a deal. Also an archer. Sharpshooter. 
So that's... Yeah, unaffected by range penalties on their missile attack. Scouting one. So they get to be able to see one extra spot. And yeah, they're a forester. Okay. Um, I'm going to hire this one because I don't have any heroes. Rakir, welcome to the party. And yes, I know I'm lacking on food. Demon Lord. Wraiths. Yeah. I could probably take them out with a melee attack. Yep. No. Build a shrine, please. Oh, yeah. What type of units are your trolls? Trolls are annoying because I can't do my normal standard tactics of run away, attack, run away, attack, run away, and so on. Um, so we're here. Sup. You're going to stay inside the capital until I can think of something better to do with you. Uh, let's see. So the problem being that Rakir is... Another one. These are crappy cities, too. Well, that one isn't, but that one is. The only reason why that one isn't is because it's sharing my damn resources. Yep. See? So in a civilization game, usually you... If you have two cities too close to each other, only one of the cities gets the resources. In this game... It gives you half the resources because you don't actually put people on your minimap. Which sucks. I want to raise that city. I will conquer yellow at some point. Okay. What's over here? Oh crap, that's a really freaking dang. Just dang. That's actually a really big city. Hey, Sin. Just dang. Pyres built a shrine. Hooray. How about a builder's hall now? What are you? Guardian spirits, I probably can't fight. But it's at least possible. Isun, get down. Isun. Doing on the table, silly kitty. Let's find out if I can fight it. Oh, that's a lot of them. It did say many, didn't it? They should be able to attack me. They're flying also. And then non-corporeal, which is gonna suck. I can at least quickly see if I'm capable of even fighting these things. I can almost fight one at a time. What is with their AI script? This is not the way I expect them to fight. Yeah, this is non-viable. Load? Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to fight that. They have Shaman. And a lot of them. They have the full nine units, which means that when the city tries to build another unit, they're going to spawn off a barbarian set of enemies. I might, maybe, be able to take on the other troll village. So I'm going to try it.
damn, they're building so much faster than I remember the AI building. Then again, they do start with two... Assuming that they started the same thing I do, they started with two settlers. And I guess that makes sense. Just not used to seeing that. It's a weird decision. Nope, you're building granary. Well, I said maybe. Let's find out if maybe's true. And they are only spearmen, but they also regenerate. Oh. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I forgot to check to see the power of the city. I'll just keep the city. Um, in this game, I don't believe there's any penalty for having a whole bunch of different cities. Other than, holy crap, everything takes forever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Dwarven Spearmen are, or Trollish Spearmen are actually not that bad of units. It's just that they had crappy armor and I'm ranged. Twenty turns, ugh. Oh, you don't have a smithy yet, even. Yeah, no wonder your production's so bad. I don't know if I like these changes with this expansion. I don't like all of them. I like some of them, I should say. Uh, let's see. Farmer's Market increases population growth by 50 and generates food. It's always nice. Um, I can already build a good So much balance difference. So, um, this produces power, only reduces unrest by one. That's why. And it gives me power and direction for each active nightshade. So there could be nightshade around the city, and if there is nightshade around the city, then, um... And apparently, in this case, it gives me extra power and unrest reduction. That's new. Base game, it gave me magic resistance, I think? As in an ability to resist spells being cast on the city. Okay. Plus 12 research. Animus skilled increases each farmer's food harvest by one and increases healing rate by 66%. So if this was my farming city, Animus skilled is awesome. It's not my farming city at the moment. I think I need to start building more military. What are you? A few great drakes. These are like units that I have problems with at end of game, never mind beginning of game. Maybe I can take on the Shaman. I and mean, if I can take out the Shaman, this becomes less of a problem. I don't suppose there's a city's view. I don't think there is. Uh, you still have three more turns for True Sight. Everybody's uneasy because you decided to be an idiot. Of course, I really do want to kill you, but, you know. Oh, um, there's no leftover production when you finish building a building, so it behooves you to figure out, okay, this is the minimum amount of production that will give me four turns. Now I have a bunch of excess food. Can I use that excess food elsewhere? Uh, you're done next turn. You're done in six turns and I can't do anything about your food. You're done in 31 turn. You know what? Just housing. Just housing. You're done in six turns. You're already done with all of your food. Well, I guess I'm just going to have some extra food. Okay. Even more food now. I can do that. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and get a sawmill up so I can get some archers. I already checked you, right? Yeah, you're a few great drink. A chaos spawn. A chaos spawn I might be able to take. Depends on what else is in there. But if it's just... That's Nightshade, by the way. Oh, well, there's definitely a city over there. Um, I think I can take on a chaos spawn. It depends on luck. 
And there's a bunch of flyers with it. Never mind. There's no way in hell I can take these on. Because they're immune to missile weapons. But they're not labeled as being immune to missile weapons. Oh, wait. These are swordsmen. Derp. It's not even worth the attempt to fight. Let's just reload and move on elsewhere. Speaking of elsewhere, how well is this going to work? Oh, hey, look, I'm already dead. <laughs> Whoops. This is why we reload, because I don't know how the games are balanced at all. Alright, can I do anything with my excess food now? Build engineers, that'll be nice eventually. Um... Oh, that's the way queuing works. Now I'm just curious. It may end up wasting a few turns of the granary, but I really want to know if queuing works the way I want it to. No difference. Well, we're going to have an excess of food. Looks like a graphical glitch. I have my chicken who's very happy that I've finished learning True Sight. It takes so long to research. Um, I guess bless it could be useful. Really swampy area. Oh, who would have guessed? Yet another yellow town. Freaking hell. There we go. Weird. I don't understand how the queuing works in this game. I'm just not going to bother using it. Uh, yeah, those areas are terrible for building a city. Be nice if I could actually place my city down, but at least I'm conquering things, so I have cities. Yeah, I get so angry whenever I get close to a city. It's annoying. Um, yeah, it's time to build a fighter's guild, I think. Ten, ten, eleven. Ten turns. What are you? One swordsman. I can take one swordsman on. There we go. Done. What are you? A Colossus. No. <sighs> this game... Oh crap. Wandering Sprite. Okay, what can I do about Sprite? Um, other than drinking it. So it's got three more uses if it's attack. If I gave it nature resistance, that would work, but that's what I'm researching. I can cast healing twice. True sight, heroism. Heroism's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and cast heroism. And I'll cast healing after that, because now they're out of magic. Now they have one more. Now they're out of magic. Healing. There we go, I am triumphant. This is why it's useful to have units in cities. That's why I need units elsewhere. It's in you. A few Hydra. No. What is wrong with you people? A few stone giants.
Raz and Pyre have both grown to four. Okay. You need at least something. What's the difference in your case? A lot. A lot of difference, yeah. Go ahead and make a swordsman. Desert Fall has its mill. Go ahead and make a bowman. And you're the one that, well, I don't know what's in it anymore, but it had shaman. You're the one that has now four, and you have an uprising, because of course you do. Just buy that. Stupid trolls. That river area looks really nice for building a city. Did I already walk into you? Yes. You're a few stone giant. I can buy Dark Elf Albertiers. It's not a terrible idea. I need some more units. Yeah, go ahead and buy them. I'll just eat another turn. It's fine. Um, I actually want to know what's in that nature node. It might be something I could take. Probably not. Explored a few Hydra. A few Behemoths. A few Gargoyles is at least possible. Since those are the archers. Oh, um, should mention when we, when I try those gargoyles, because I'm going to. Go ahead and start making the sawmill. Let's save over maybe. And hellhounds. Probably going to be too hard for me, but um, so in node battles, any type of magic that you cast other than the element of that node, so anything but fire magic or chaos magic, excuse me, um, has a chance of being dispelled by the node. Doesn't actually tell you any of that, of course. Yeah, it's like I can do damage, but I'm not going to be able to do enough damage. Because they will just eat me. That's kind of what I thought might happen when I saw how many units were in there. That is, many great lizards. Okay. You don't need to produce for the clock bow right now. Well, that's not a terrible plan now that I'm thinking about it. But no, I want other things. Now that you have at least fight, go ahead and build a builder's hall. What's in you? Many phantom beasts. That's actually possible. Because I have that spell, True Sight, that allows me to fight um, illusions. It's not going to be an easy fight, but it's possible. I have some things that are now instant, which means that just immediately finishes, which is always nice. Um, True Sight is not an instant, though.
I didn't remember how the go-to worked in this game. Thought it worked the way I thought, but oh well. Uh, I need to wait one more turn because I'm not ready to cast my spell yet. Pyre has finished. And you're gonna need to build things. My uh, unit is over here. Go ahead and cast it on that bowman. Oh, I need to say first, derp. I don't trust anything. Okay, it's this one is the one with the two illusions right now. True sight. You? I don't remember if that's going to be good enough. You stay back. Normal attack. Notice that I do a decent amount of damage. It's the reason why this is at least possible. Just the counterattack is nasty. Okay. Not the greatest, not the worst. Archery, on the other hand, works great. But yeah, I'm just gonna use my swordsman to corral them, so to speak. Finish off as many as I can. Probably done. Any of these injured? No. Yep, and that's gonna be it for my turns. See, this is gonna take a little bit longer than normal because I have to have multiple units. I'm not even hitting the spacebar. What it is is that when I hold it down for a period of time, it's queuing up the commands. Uh, this is where a fast forward button would be nice. But I am going to take this keep. This is totally doable with my archers. This is why I frequently don't have too many melee units that aren't heroes, just because the melee units are just not very good. There's a couple of exceptions, but these are not it. All right, all our units retreat exhausted. Next turn, find out why my tablet's been beeping at me. Apparently I've received multiple email. Anything I have to care about? Yep, that's my food. There we go. And reminder that Zone Kitty needs a vet appointment. He doesn't, they just have bad records. All right, we're down to a few Phantom Beasts. All right, we know that the Swordsmen are not useful in this case. Okay, 
that's the one I'm going to focus fire on. One fire. Back one fire. So that's my next target. If I roll slightly better, I would be able to get away with this. I might not be able to take on the last one yet. Nope, definitely not. I'd have to get really lucky with this last hit. Nope. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to hit flee. And this is from before I fought, isn't it? I'll be right back, Internet. I'm going to just do this offline since you've already seen me do it. One moment. All right, that took longer than I expected. Fed cats at the same time. Uh, no, that's not what I... Anyway. It's fine. Everything's fine. Calm. So I should probably talk about my connection to this game. So, I first played this... Let's see if it... Ooh, I have a bard. Confusion? So you can cast Confusion, you can cast Vertigo, you have Leadership, which means that everybody in the same, uh, yeah, everybody in the same stack as Valana will get extra bonuses to hit. Holy bonus one. Do you have a holy bonus from? You're also a caster, so I usually like hiring casters. So welcome to the team, Valana. There's two guardian spirits in there. I wonder... Maybe... I could fight them. So, both casters. All right, Talana, you've got Vertigo. That did nothing. Rakir, you've got ores that you can't even afford to cast. You've got Resist Elements. Cool. Arrow. This is going to go poorly, isn't it? Yep. Heal, but I'm gonna be dead. Yep, nope, this was a bad idea. Load game. Let's try that again, shall we? Go back to patrolling. Okay. Go back in and fight the final one of those phantom beasts. So yeah, if it's one, it's just spotted a phantom beast. After them, archers! We are triumphant. We found 203 mana crystals and a ring. It's our first item. Plus one movement, pathfinding, and water walking. Interesting. Hmm. So, uh, I should explain. When you find loot like this, you receive the item. Oh, that got expanded. I'm pretty sure you can only store four things before. Um, so you receive an item. If there's anybody, if there's any heroes present, they could just equip the item immediately. No teleporting. Teleporting costs mana for reference. 
Alternately, you can throw it in your fortress vault. Your fortress vault is back at the castle, which means I can just pick it up and immediately give it to Alana. Anyway, it's our first item. That's exciting. on me that I, oh, I should have checked my cities because I have spare food. <laughs> um, between these videos, I'm going to check to see if there is an actual, like, um, expansion guide to figure out what in the world the building situation is. I really don't know. Lana, you need better armor. Um, oh, right, I was going to talk to you about my connection to this game. So, I had mentioned this game was released in 1996, I think I said. Might have been 94. Anyway, um, about that time, probably, you know what, let me go look this up. One moment. Would have been early 1997, really? I didn't think I had a computer at the time that I could run this on. Must have. Um, so, early 1997 is when I first played this game. I... I would go to a friend's place, um, one that my family and his family had been friends forever. Um, he had a 486 with Windows 95, and this is one of the games that was on it. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D was the other one that I remember. Um, yeah, this is the one that I liked. I didn't really like Duke Nukem 3D because, well, I'm not a fan of first-person shooters to begin with. And even less of a fan when I was very uncomfortable with all of the nudity at the time. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that might happen. And they're flying, which means they can actually hit me. They're going to cause massive mayhem by being in there. So when an enemy unit moves through the village, it will start causing damage in the village itself. Unfortunately, I am not capable of hitting Broadside of Barn. That did not give me anything more. And non corporeal. So this is going to be causing massive amounts of damage. Yep, nope, I can't do anything about this. This is gonna suck. Yeah, there are no spells that I can cast to help me. This is why I wanted to summon Guardian Spirits myself, because they're powerful, but they also get used on me. Yep, destroyed granary and three population. Three full population of my second largest city. Grumble. 
Rumble, I say. Rumble. <sighs> Build Helvetiers now. It's not what I want. Problem is, dwarves don't get archers. They get golems. Right. You should probably get some archers. Sawmill. Finally summoned my guardian spirit in the same town. Um, yeah, can't really get can't much of anything else. Cool. Moved my unit into the wrong spot. Grumble. Graphical glitch there. Okay, I have 11 spare food. You are working as hard as you can. You are working as hard as you can, right? Yeah. You are not working as hard as you can. Of course, now I have food debt. No, I don't. Never mind. You're just going to attack again. Oh. This could suck. Healing you. Spell heroism you. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes, I guess? I'm done with spells. Cool. Uh, you should be roughly evenly balanced. That worked! I have learned bless. Good job, me. Um... Hmm... Enchant item's not a terrible idea anymore. Starfires would have actually helped me in that battle, though. So I will start learning Starfire. So Wandering Monsters come from these Goody Hut areas. Um, oh, and I'm using the term Goody Hut. It's a Civ term from, like, the hut icon from Civilization 1. Um, these are places that could have goodies in them. And they do, if only I were strong enough to actually fight anything. Oh, I'm at negative one food. It's time to... Food. Uh, that actually brings you from three to four. That stinks. That doesn't, though. That'll work. Grass grew. Azert Fall, which used to be my largest city, is no... Or, second largest city is no longer my second largest city. Um, let's get you a barracks and then start building up military. Um, what in the world am I going to do? This is the area that I wanted to build upon the city. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm building, uh, bringing you over. So yeah, my friend showed me how to play this game, basically. And I enjoyed it because I like Civ games and this is a Civ game, basically. Actually be useful. You could do that. That makes sense. Let's go. I'm running low on money surplus. I should probably start building some more marketplaces. But I want more archers because uh, everybody's so strong. Do I still need you? Yes. Rather finish that in one turn. There we go. That'll work. All right. Now I saints. They're healers. That's good to know. Yes. 
Let's start building some healers. Three, three, four. Three it is. Congratulations on your granary, bras. Congrats. Healers. Regenerating healers. Yes, please. I have spare food. Makes a difference. You must have grown in population. I didn't notice. You're already maxed. You're already maxed. Okay. I am low on money. I need to worry about that. Pyre grew. That's nice. I'm going to get a two bowman, I think. I learned a new spell. I learned Starfires. <sighs> Just cause would be nice to learn. I mean, I really want unicorns, but that takes 50 freaking turns. Um, It might be time for enchant item. Nah, just cause. Okay. Um, you should also build a marketplace. We should get more money. What's in you? Many earth elementals. Maybe. See, that sword indicates that that is an adamantium weapon. See, adamantium. Hooray. I am using adamantium. It's rare that I actually remember to use it. I've got four shots with my spells. But you're going to sit there and produce some healers for a bit. Because I want that unit to actually do something. That's a new settlement again. <sighs> So, my hero is leveled up. They will level up slowly on their own. They'll level up much faster with combat, but... And they've gained... Plus zero defense. Ugh. Already reminding me of some of the archers. Although, you at least got an attack bonus, so that's good. Soul Linker got increased by one, so that means that everybody has plus one to hit in the same stack. And Aethermancer means that I am gaining... Eight spell points. Alright. It is possible for us to fight Earth Elementals. It's not easy. They have gobs of hit points. Be a lot easier if I had more than two archers, though. forever. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I have one more ammo. I don't even know if I can take one out. This is a terrible idea. Took one out.
Oh yeah. So you notice how down here it says range 2.5x? That means that any spell that I cast for every one mana that I'm spending, it costs me two and a half mana. Wait around for a bit. It's weird how bassy that is. I'm actually picking up a little bit of my microphone too. It's really bassy to me, by the way. Like I could feel my subwoofer through the keyboard. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five. It is possible for me to take that out. So I think I'm gonna try. It's gonna take a damn long time though. Which sucks. Oh well. Start summoning that guardian spirit. Congratulations on your barracks. Build a war college, library. Hmm. Ooh, steam cannon. Steam cannons are actually pretty good. But I think I want to build up my money. What do I do with you? Centaurs are nice. I need both the Fighters Guild and Stables to do that. Well, Stables at least provides production. It's still three turns? Eh, okay. And I have summoned my Guardian Spirit. It's evil, spill it! We're going to go in that direction. All right. I don't think you want to watch this repeatedly, so I'm going to pause for my combats. That way you don't have to watch me hit. Well, I will pause once I'm at the point of hitting next repeatedly. How about that? I did just save, didn't I? Oh, that. This is why I save, because so what it is, is that unlike a normal mouse cursor where, you know, you're aiming at where you're pointing, it doesn't always aim at where you're pointing. Oops, not the unit I wanted to move there. It's fine. I missed. This is not going to go well, is it? able to do enough damage to it. Pause for you. Be back. And back. Right about an hour anyway. Uh, all tender. Thank you. Uh, so I guess I will just stop this one here. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!